Hey guys, MJ here from Nightcore Singapore. Today we're going to look at the new T4K, alright, and what makes this a must-have light if you've always wanted the absolute brightest and smallest. Right, so now over the years as LED technology evolves, customer demands have also evolved. You know, they are constantly asking for brighter, stronger, more powerful lights. So flashlight brands have been, you know, constantly trying to keep up. But it's easy to make brighter lights, right? Just add more LEDs. So here you can see how far some brands have gone, you know, just throwing in as many LEDs as they can fit into a bezel. You know, but the problem with so many LEDs packed together, you generate a lot of heat. And if you can't get rid of that heat fast enough, it gets overheated and eventually the circuits get damaged. That's why you see a lot of uh, 10,000 lumens or 100,000 lumen lights that only last a few seconds, right? So there's a limit to how long it can run because of, you know, the laws of physics. If you want it to run longer, you know, you need more surface area for the heat to spread out. So that means your light becomes bigger to a point where it becomes so big and bulky that it becomes almost unusable. So here's an example of a light that is so big that most people don't want to drag this around, you know, unless you're using it from a helicopter or vehicle is really heavy and really huge. Right, so Nightcall knows this limitation. So instead of going down the same dead end hole of, you know, bigger, brighter, they went the other way. Right, to make the brightest lights in the smaller size, yet still be practical enough for an operator to use. And they did it with the TM10K in 2018, right? So this is 10,000 lumens in a size that is usable, you know, with a battery that gives practical runtime with an old LED display and control scheme, right? That helps the user manage such, you know, incredible power, these 10,000 lumens. This was the world's first. And since then, no one has come close to even creating something as small and as bright, right? Look, it just fits in my palm like this, thumb at the back and then go. So a year later, they used the same old LED technology here and the two buttons to create the TUP. So they just flip the LED, have the same two button control scheme and then this became the world's first 1000 lumen pocket light, right? It was a winning combination of size, power and runtime. So then in 2020, the question was, how do we improve on an already winning light? At that point, the biggest breakthrough was the i4000R, the quad array LED slapped it onto the TUP, added a bunch of modern upgrades like USB-C, you no know, fast charging, and then the T4K was born, right? From the TUP, quad array LED in front. So how does the light take the crown of brightest and smallest, but you know, still remain usable? It's a combination of three things, right? The controls, the old LED display on top, and the different ways to carry. So first up, here's how the controls and OLED display work. When you first get the light, it's going to be in lockout mode, right? You can see the icon here. So double tap hold to unlock, right? Then press the mode buttons to change brightness up to 200 lumens. Everything you ever wanted to know about your light is shown here, like right? the lumen level, battery voltage, and exactly how long you can use the light at any specific brightness, down to the minute. And it's real time. So as you use, you see the numbers changing. When you want turbo for 4,000 lumens, just press the mode button on top and hold. Right, then bam, it goes into 4,000 lumens. One thing to note, you cannot cycle to 4,000 lumens. 1, 15, 65, 200, and then back to 1 again. So you might ask, why stop at 200 lumens? Why not give us, you know, 500 or 800 lumens? Because for small lights like these, right, it's been tested and proven that 200 lumens is the optimal brightness for arm's length use and long runtime without overheating. So what do most people use small lights for? You know, looking at nearby things. Right, if I go any brighter, say uh, 1000 lumens, the light will heat up too fast. So that's why you see majority of headlamps and uh, tiny lights out there that cap out at 200 lumens because that's the sweet spot for small lights to run for the longest time without getting too hot. Besides, if you want a 1000 lumen light for navigation, just get a bigger light like the i4000R or MH12 V2, then you can run it at 1000 lumens for 3 hours without burning up. So always use the right light for your task. So then you might ask, you know, why not add a few more brighter levels? Maybe 1000 or 2000 lumens? Right, remember, early on, physics. Once turbo is on, you'll see this timer bar. Once it cuts, it drops down to the previous brightness. Right, you can see it slowly dropping here. Or it's a good uh, 7, 9, even 10 seconds of use, right? And then it drops down to the previous 200 lumen brightness. This is for the light to rapidly cool down after turbo. Because the more you use turbo, the hotter the light gets and the shorter the bar gets. So now if I keep forcing turbo mode, right, you realize that, hey, the bar starts at halfway and it drops down and then it cuts. If I force turbo again, right, the bar becomes even shorter. 
Alright, so this is to stop the light from overheating and getting damaged. Giant pocket clip at the back, right, is also metal and it acts as a heat sink, so now I can feel it getting warm. You know, combined with the cooling fins, that almost doubles the surface area of the light. And then it cools down quite quickly, right? So this is exactly the reason why there aren't any brightness levels between 200 and 4000. If you went from 4000 lumens to 1000 lumens instead of 200, then it won't be able to cool down after turbo. So eventually, you know, overheating, shutting down by itself or, you know, damaging itself. So remember what Nightcore was going for. The smallest, brightest, yet still usable. So lights of this size are meant for backup, close range use over short periods. Right, so you might ask, then who exactly are these lights designed for and for what purpose? So we've seen customers use this in shipping container ports, you know, at night where most areas are completely dark. Right, like this, they have their lanyard in front. So at low brightness, looking at documents, moving around. Then when they need to check on containers a few stories high, they just hold for turbo, you know, check the labels, done, and then they're back to comfortable use. Right, there's no need to cycle the brightness low and then if you want to look high or cycle up again, if you look down again, then I cycle back to low. There's no wasting time or you no know, wasting battery. So when it comes to safety, 4000 lumens will overpower anything. Right, as typical vehicle headlights range from 800 to 1600 lumens. So some of them will see danger, they'll just blast it in that direction and you will get everyone's attention because the whole area will light up. Right, for example, bam and then you know the whole place is light up. So with this 4000 lumens, you can actually reach up to 209 meters and command attention like never before. Like smaller lights like the Tip SE, only 700 lumens when you turbo this, it, you won't get the same kind of attention. To do the same thing in the past, before this came out, you would have to use a full-size light like the i4000R, have it on turbo this way, right? But the thing with the i4000R, you can't hang it around your neck like this because it's big, heavy and bulky. So depending on your use, pick the lights that fit into your workflow. So this light may work for others, you know, but it may not work for you. Maybe you go for this uh, i4000R instead and belt mount it. So even though the brightness is the same, the way it fits into someone's gear or outfit, right, is very, very different. So some of you might ask, what if it turns on in my pocket? At 4000 lumens, my pants will catch fire, right? So the T4K solves this by having a two-stage lockout. So when it's locked, there's no way it can turn on in your pocket. When you tap, tap or hold or press, it shows the icon here. So double tap and hold, it unlocks and then you're good to go. Once you're done using to lock it again, just press and hold the power button and you turn off and go to stage one lockout. So on stage one lockout, it means that you can go to turbo by holding down the mode button, right? Everything else doesn't work except for turbo. So once you press mode button, it blasts into straight away 4,000 lumens. So stage one lockout is safer in your pocket because you no, know, it's quite hard to have something press against the button and hold down for a long while while you're moving. You no, know, it's perfect for those that don't want to, you know, keep unlocking and locking the light. You just take it out, turbo, see what you need to see and then you're done. Now if you want to get to stage 2 lockout, follow the same process. So when the light is on, just press and hold, the off button is lock 1, lock 2 and then you're done. So now no matter how you press, you, you cannot turn on the light. Alright, so another feature that stops the light from burning a hole in your pocket is the daily and demo modes. When you first get the light, it will always be in demo mode. Alright, you can see on the top right, it says demo mode. So that means the light will turn off after 30 seconds. So if you don't want that, just press and hold both buttons. Alright, press and hold. You see it switch. So now you can see it's in daily mode. So now it will stay on all the way and won't turn off after 30 seconds. So the last point that makes this light awesome is the many ways that you can carry and charge. Now because of this pocket clip, you can also use this as a headlamp when combined with a hard hat or baseball cap on a lanyard like this or with your keys and then if you have a hat here with the quick release, just press this button here, pop it off, there. And now you have a 200 lumen headlamp with a 4000 lumen emergency burst which you can use you know, anytime to quickly locate something. You can fit it at the bottom like this or fit it upwards like this, okay? Whichever uh, fits your preference. The deep carry pocket clip on the back also fits very securely in a Mole compatible uh, pouch. So for example, if you have something like this, these are Mole laser cut slots. So it fits in very nicely like this. It goes very deep in for you know very secure carry. 
all right it's, it's not gonna drop out you can also shoulder mount this if you have you know that kind of vest or mount it like this anywhere that you have mole compatible uh, webbing this fits on a full charge it will run for 2 hours 45 minutes on 200 lumens if you want to extend the run time you can by connecting the USB-C port here to 5000 milliampere power bank this is the NPB one right, you can use the included USB-C cables so you just pop it in on this side there okay now it's charging slow blink means it's charging and the battery level also shows here so it's very clear when it's you know fully charged or not there's no guessing so you can charge it and use it at the same time All right it takes around one and a half hours to fully charge so look you can actually have it at 200 lumens so this combination with a 5000 milliampere power bank and this t4k will give you 13 hours of runtime all right if you need longer runtime just swap it to a larger power bank like the npb 10,000 milliampere power bank so with a combination like this right now you have 26 hours of runtime now because it works this way that also means you can use this uh, flex cable right semi-rigid usb-c cable that takes the shape of you know however you bend it into put it in here right like this and now you have a portable you know uh, work lamp right <laughs> indoors and outdoors wherever you go you can just bring it along this gives you 26 hours so you can also connect it to a laptop keyboard here you just angle it down this way or point it up somewhere and then now you have a you know almost unlimited runtime so once you're done with this pull it out clip it back onto the quick release lanyard pop it in like this done and then you're good to go indoors and outdoors so there are many many different uses now some of you are concerned with the exposed usb port here right what if it gets wet ipx54 means rain is okay but being completely exposed i will not drop this in the river or you know water or dunk it intentionally water will get in okay so this is not as sealed as the teeny two where you have the rubber gasket here on the usb port be quite careful with this one if you do drop it in a river like quickly retrieve it dry it off and don't let any water soak inside the usb port and you should be fine okay if you want even more protection you can buy those uh, silicon port covers to just seal the port and then you give you more peace of mind now but how does it compare to other keychain lights you know nightcore has a lot of lights of this size but none of them are brighter than the t4k right the closest that you can get is the tup here at 1000 lumens right the next closest would be the tip se 700 lumens you can see the difference in size you know this is much thinner and it's only two leds now one thing to note between the T4K and the TUP, right, the beam pattern is very different. TUP's beam pattern at 1000 lumens, you can see that it's very circular, right, it's a kind of almost spotlight kind of effect, right. If you're searching for things, you have to look here, look, 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 and then you go down to search for things. Whereas a T4K is a, because of the four LED configuration, it's a flat light. So when you blast it, it's flat. You, you basically can see everything at one go. Okay, so if you prefer this kind of a flat light where you blast the whole place, quickly pick out what you're looking for, then go. Or you prefer a spot like this to focus on something, you know, maybe even point at something for others to see, then go for the TUP. Right, the difference between a flat reflector and a spot reflector is pretty obvious on both lights. So again, when you absolutely must have the brightest light in the smaller size, then a the T4K was made exactly for you. Right, there's nothing on the market like this at the moment. It's a perfect combination of incredible brightness, you know, packed into a small size but still very usable thanks to the clever controls and old LED display to, you know, help you uh, manage that power. So if you've been looking for a brighter upgrade to your current pocket light or backup light, there's literally nothing brighter than the T4K. Right now, today, uh, January 2021, right, the T4K is in stock now at nightcallites.com. It's only 159 and if you buy online from us, we also throw in two of the most useful items to help you make the most of your T4K. Right, the first one will be Nightcore's best-selling titanium S-hook. So it, it, it's to keep your kit in order, you know, help you hang your T4K or whatever else you have. This will probably last a lifetime if you take care of it. Right, this is $19, you'll get it free. So next up, you will also get the Flex USB-C cable which is this one the one i showed you earlier okay this is ten dollars you'll get it free as well so if you buy everything outside right like this it's about 188 dollars sing dollars but if you get it now from us it's just 159 with coupon code t4k free 
right? So this is the best offer right now for the T4K. So don't waste it. If you find that you need the cash flow, you can also go for three installments of $53 per month. You know, so there's literally no excuse to take your gear to the next level. And if you need to buy in bulk, you can also go for the three pack or 10 pack bundle for even greater discount, okay? So as usual, this will sell out really fast. So order yours today. Once your order is placed, we will courier everything to your door within a couple of days, okay? So link to order is in the description below. They come with our standard 60 day money back guarantee and fast free three year warranty. If you buy this and you realize that, hey, you know, this is too bright for me. I'd rather the slightly lower lumens, which is a thousand lumens, then you can bring it back and swap it for the TUP. So there's actually no risk at all. That's it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, where we help you choose the best lights for your work or adventures, subscribe below and I will see you on the next video. All right, MJ signing out.